Guys, it's that time of year again for the Get Zone Holiday Gift Guide 2022. Uh, we've been doing this for a number of years and it's always fun to look at a lot of different products. And today we're gonna be taking a look at gear and accessories. We're gonna start out with the Black Hawk Tech Grip form lock inside the waistband holster. Uh, this is a very minimalist type holster and of course it comes in a number of different sizes uh, and you can actually mold this with heat and you can fit your gun in it, mold it to the shape of the firearm. We're gonna take a look at how you do that, but this gives you passive retention and yet it's really comfortable to wear. Uh, we have a number of other items that we're gonna be showing and this is the gear and accessories. We also have the pistol edition and the rifle edition or long gun edition coming up. Now we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together and all the companies that joined in for the holiday gift guide. So we have the Black Hawk. This is the Tech Grip Form Lock. Uh, this is a fully customizable holster. It actually molds to your gun. If you've ever been to places that they'll mold Kydex right there in front of you, this is a do-it-yourself and it is really cool. Very easy to do. We're going to go through the process and I'm going to show you how it's done. This is ambidextrous and it size one, it fits pocket size semi-autos. And we're gonna use one of the Ruger LCP Max. Now the outer layer body has a clinging material. Uh, it's very tacky feeling, but not uh, sticky. Uh, and then we have a high density closed foam that is under this layer. And this is gonna give you a lot of comfort. It's gonna give you some padding. Uh, and then inside is the memory lock with a thermomoldable plastic. And that is going to give you passive retention. And we'll do that when we heat it up. Because when you heat this up, you can mold it around your firearm. And then the inner layer is a friction-resistant polyester. And this is just going to protect the finish of your gun. Uh, now, you get a heavy-duty prep bag. It's just a Ziploc bag. And you get a sight channel forming tool. And um, this is just a plastic tool. This allows for your sights to fit and to be able to come in and out. Now this is also optics ready. And so it'll be, it's cut to where you can have an optic on here and it still fit. And there's even some room up front where if you have a small light or laser, you can fit that in there as well. And again, this is a passive retention. And so it's gonna hold in and it's ambidextrous. It'll go either way. Now we have our Ruger LCP. It is unloaded and let's just see how it fits in here. It's going to fit very nice uh, and of course we're, we've got the water already started and we're going to boil it uh, and then we're going to form it. Then we have the bag. This is the prep bag and this is just a large Ziploc bag and you have instructions rolled in there as well. Of course it gives you all the details uh, but it's going to be very simple. We have a gallon of water that we're putting in a pot. Um, we got the heat on. You need a thermometer and some tongs will go really well. Uh, you want it to be about 155 to 175 degrees. So you're not necessarily going to get it a rolling boil. Really, if it gets pretty hot and it starts to show bubbles down, it's usually right. But uh, having a thermometer will get it right. Now go ahead and take your prep bag. We're going to drop the holster in there. You'll notice I have all these knives, the silverware. You can either use a river stone, something to weigh this down. But as we put it in, we're just going to drop the knives down into the bag too. You can actually slip them in the holster if you want. Uh, and then we're going to try to get as much air out of this as we can. Because the more air we have, the more it's going to float. And you need this to be fully submerged. Now we're up to about 170 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and put in our bag. Uh, one thing you want to do is keep the sealed part up if possible, and then just let the bag sit in there. And we're going to leave it anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. All right, it's been in there for 8 minutes. Uh, it's getting close to the 175 staying there, so we want to go ahead and pull it out. Now, it says to have tongs, but uh, you know, with this top out, I can just pull it out. We're just going to let that kind of drip a second. I have a cloth down here and paper towels just to keep it from getting wet everywhere. We'll go ahead and pull out our holster. Now if there's anything that's wet, you want to dry that off. Holster's warm to the touch. 
go ahead and put in our pistol and we're going to put in our sight channel tool. Now if you have a red dot on here, you can actually go from this side. You know, that's one of the things in the instructions. And two, you know, if you have a kind of a different back sight, that way it retains that channel form for your sight to come out. Now just start pressing into the pistol. It's going to form itself right with the handgun, making sure that it's fully seated. Uh, you don't want to push in too much around your trigger because you don't want it to get stuck. Uh, it'll give it some retention, but I just put it around the trigger guard itself. Just mold it and just keep molding it until it starts to turn cool. Now, one thing that's really cool about this holster as well is if you don't like it or if you want to change to a different type of firearm, uh, you can reheat this and mold it again. So it's reusable. According to Blackhawk, you can do it as many times as you want. And this is made for a number of different really small semi-automatics. Uh, they do make six different models and they do make one for revolvers as well. And you can feel that tacky material. Curious to see how that holds out in the belt. You don't want your holster to go flying across the room. Now you want to leave it in the holster after you finish molding it for 10 minutes. And once it's cool to the touch, you pull out the firearm. All right, it's cool to the touch. We'll go ahead and pull it out. We're going to pull out our sight channel tool. You can feel the uh, as it goes in. Got a little bit of friction right there, some retention. And so it's holding itself. I'm sure if I really shook this, obviously it would may come out, but it's got some nice retention. You can feel it just catching. So let's try it out. Now one thing about this holster is it does have that, that kind of a tacky type feel to it, and again, yet it's not sticky. Uh, and then it comes out really smooth because of the finish, but you still feel that little bit of retention. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out, put it in our waistband, uh, you know, this is a great way to carry it, being appendix makes it really fast. So we're going to draw it out. Yeah, the holster doesn't even move. So uh, you want to make sure that your belt is tight enough to secure the holster. But <laughs> that's, that's pretty slick. And it's very comfortable. Uh, that close foam padding uh, really gives you some cushioning. The tacky type material in there retains it really well. And I could actually lower that even more. But with this LCP Max, I mean, this is a really capable little firearm. 380 ACP, but you have 10 rounds. So, yeah, I think we're going to be using this holster quite a bit. Especially for those more discreet times when, um, you know, I'm carrying and I don't want anybody to know. So guys, six different sizes, very easy to do, uh, gives you some retention, yet it's very comfortable in your pocket, remoldable, uh, and you can use this for a number of different firearms. So I think this is a really cool design, and guys, if you're carrying every day, it's always good to have multiple options, and to me, this is a great one to have in your toolbox. And for more information, you can go to blackhawk.com. Guys, next we have the Burris Eliminator 5. Uh, this is the fifth in a series of sights that actually have an integral laser that ranges distance. With just the push of a button, I mean, this thing is phenomenal. Again, it's been around for a little while, but with the Eliminator 5, it has more improved glass, which allows for you know better detail, but also even for low light situations. But this technology is really something else. In fact, the military is now going to the XM-157, which has a lot of the similar characteristics, obviously more advanced, but this is a great option to be able to find range at any distance, up to 2,000 meters. This is a variable 5 by 20 x 50 millimeter scope. Uh, and guys, it gives you a lot of range capability, going from 100 yards on out again to 2,000 yards. Once you locate your target, you push this button and it will immediately give you feedback on the yardage. But not only that, it will line up in the reticle and light up the exact spot for you to use on the reticle. But it also has a Bluetooth little pressure pad and you can just click this instead of reaching up and hitting your scope. And I found this super convenient. 
we have four buttons here and this helps you to set up your reticle now you go to the burris services app uh, and it makes it really easy first thing you do is pick out the ammunition you're going to use whatever caliber and then you can go to the burris app and you can calculate all the numbers and the ballistic coefficient that you need to set up your scope and it's really simple um, it took me about five minutes to go through it and the ballistic services app is definitely just on top of it i mean it makes it really simple to be able to set this up now for centerfire calibers you sight in at either 100 yards or 200 yards and then once you get that zero then you hit the button exactly at that point and you're set at 100 or 200 yards and then when you move the scope out to two, three, all the way up to 1,000 yards, even a mile, the range finding laser will target it. It will have the yardage displayed at the top of the screen. I mean, it is phenomenal how accurate it is. It's also set up for short range calibers like 22, 300 blackout, slugs, or even muzzle loading. You can set it up and you sight it in at 50 yards and then it will give you the ballistic coefficient that you're able to dial in and guys, I'm telling you, it's simple, but man, it is super effective. One thing, too, that's really cool about this optic is that it has an inclimeter. And so this compensates for being uphill or downhill. And you can put in your wind speeds, and it'll even calibrate wind drift. The only thing it won't do is fix you a cup of coffee, but you can handle that. Now you have parallax adjustment here. And your button, you also have one on the exact opposite side of the scope. And I really like the rubberized sleeves that they have on all the adjustment knobs. I mean, it makes it really easy. It's very tactile. It's easy. It's grippable. Especially if you're hunting and it's cold and it's hard to move. I mean, this makes it much simpler. There is a mount included. And I just directly put this on this Picatinny rail mount. Uh, and again, it was really simple. And the great thing is you don't have to worry about leveling or doing, uh, setting it up just right because the mount will set it up to the Picatinny rail very level. Now, when we got out to the range, uh, I had one of the Daniel Defense Delta 5s. It was in 6.5 Creedmoor. Again, I went into the ballistic calculator, put my information in, and it popped out the numbers that I needed. So it was really simple. I didn't have to do any calculations. Uh, once we got it out to the range, I went ahead and sighted it in at 100 yards, uh, which is simple to do. We got it right on target, just one small group, and this rifle will do it. Now we took it out to 100 on the steel and we were just pounding away. And of course, obviously 6.5 Creedmoor, it was slamming that steel, but it was in one consistent spot. I mean, it just made it. And every time I hit this button, it would tell me the exact yardage. Uh, then we took it out to 200 yards. And again, once you hit it and you get it lined up, uh, you get your reticle right where you want it. You hit the button. And I was typically using this little Bluetooth button. I would hit the button and the distance would appear directly on the screen immediately. And the reticle illuminated to the spot in the reticle that you needed to get it on. I mean, it was like very simple. Went out to 300 yards, hit the button, it gave me the correct distance, and then the dot went farther down, the bullet drop compensator gave me the exact spot. I mean, we were ringing that steel at 300 yards without any effort. I really wish I could have gotten out to more distance. Uh, the range that we typically use that has greater distance, it wasn't available. But I wanted to get it out to 300. I would love to take this out to the 1,000-yard range and test it out. But from all the feedback that I've seen, uh, these scopes are just phenomenal. Three for three, baby. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Guys, I'll tell you, uh, I haven't been this excited about an optic in a long time. And the Eliminator 5, I mean, it takes technology and it puts it to use in your optics. You take your scope out, and we have done this a number of times, and we calculate the ballistics, uh, especially when we're shooting out to a thousand yards. You know, we're having to calculate everything. Uh, with this, you don't need a rangefinder. You don't need an app on your phone. I mean, it just works and it just gets on target. And it's really exciting when you see that illuminated spot right in the right place in that bullet drop compensation and you can line it up 
and man, it is spot on target. Guys, having a good quality rifle and having good quality ammunition, you need to have just as good a quality of optic. And when you have one that can do all the work for you, this makes a great day at the range. It makes a great day hunting. <laughs> I mean, this thing is just the beast. For more information, you can go to burrisoptics.com. Guys, when it comes to range gear, MTM Case Guard is one of the best. They're all made in the USA. I use a number of different MTM Case Guard products and have for the past 40 years. And this is their divided ammo crate. Uh, one thing about this crate in particular is you can put a lot of gear in here. And we have our latches and we can just open it up. And then you have four different sections. Uh, and this is really four 30 caliber ammo cans under one lid. So you can put a lot of ammo in here. It will carry up to 75 pounds. The dividers are removable, so you can customize your space if you want to go without any dividers or you have three separate dividers to be able to just customize it however you want to. And we have an O-ring seal that goes all the way through and then the lid actually comes down so it's going to protect items that are in here from getting wet. And you can see this small lip, it just goes over it and so any water just kind of runs off. But then you have that O-ring seal in there to keep it sealed. The interior is 17.7 .7 inches in length 8.6 inches in width and it's 6.6 .6 inches deep. The latches good and secure. You have handles on either side to be able to grab and you can pick this up especially if you get this thing full. You're going to need those handles. And there are four anchor points for your padlocks. Pop them in and you can keep it secure. Now these are stackable so if you have another one they have these certain grooves on the bottom that will fit right into these slots and you also have tie down points on either side. Guys you can put a lot of items in here. I mean ammo is definitely one thing but I mean you can put a lot of different things in here. We've got a lot of mags. <laughs> just you know different things that we use for the range. And so really it's just a utility box. You can put all kind of different stuff in here. Going to the range we always carry a lot of ammo and this really makes it a lot easier to do especially with the handles. Uh, I can tie this down if I need to. It's just really easy. I can lock it if I need to. Uh, but we can get all of our ammo in here and be able to carry it. And then when we're done, just pack it back in and we can go. It's just a very convenient, easy way to carry your ammo. And honestly, guys, there are unlimited uses. Camping, anything outdoors, you're carrying certain items. I mean, it'll handle it. And again, the MTM Case Guard has been around for a long time. And they just continue to make really cool products. And for more information, you can go to mtmcaseguard.com. All right, guys, we have the Craft Holsters Vertical Roto Shoulder Holster. This is vertical carry. Uh, you can clip this to your belt. It'll ride up and down. It's the easiest way to conceal it. And then when you grab it, it's horizontal draw. Take your index finger, pop the safety, pull it down, and then draw it out. And this is really a very unique system. Uh, I've used shoulder holsters off and on for years. Uh, it's one of the easiest ways to carry a firearm if you're sitting or if you're just out and about. It gets that weight up to where you can get to the gun. It's not around your waist. Now here we have just a Colt 1911, but they make it for about any semi-automatic and revolvers. Uh, this is in the mahogany color, but it also comes in black. Now when you reinsert it, you reinsert it with the horizontal position as it comes down and then it goes back into place and then you pop back on your snap, uh, this safety snap. When I took the vertical roto out to the range, uh, I didn't realize that you use your index finger for this safety snap. Uh, I was using my thumb and even then it was really a quick draw. But with this, it just makes it so much simpler and then you're bringing it down and just drawing it out. Uh, the holster itself is molded to whatever particular firearm you're carrying. It is an open design. We did a review on craft holsters uh, last year. And I carry craft holsters outside the waistband leather holsters almost exclusively. I love their products. Their leather is so well done. And they use Italian leather with German threads they sew in. So it's just the top quality materials that they use. And of course, everything is fully adjustable. Now when you take your uh, holster and you clip this to your belt, and then 
your mag carrier and you can get it with or without the mag carrier and then you clip that part to your belt so everything is secure and you can tighten it up and it's really close to your body uh, but even the mag carrier is very well done you have all kind of adjustments all the way throughout now on a revolver you'll have your speed loader carriers uh, and again you can get this even without the mag carrier but it seems to balance out and then across your back you have this pad and really you put this on like a shirt it's really simple to do and then if you're bigger than XL, uh, you can send them your measurements and they'll actually make a larger holster size for you. So it just goes right in, goes up, safety snap. Uh, it even has a spring right here to be able to pop that open. Very quick to draw. Now this is great for high carry uh, and it gets you right in that position. It makes a very convenient draw and the fit is very secure. Once you get this strapped on and adjusted, it just fits like a glove. And so it's a very comfortable way to carry and another option for concealed carry. Shoulder rigs have kind of fallen out of favor to a point, but there are a lot of people that I know that have been looking for good shoulder rigs and they do make a number of different other types as well. Now putting on a shoulder rig can be a little cumbersome. Uh, the best way to do it is just to bring it in like you're putting on a shirt or a vest. You just bring it around and now you're ready to go. Now you just attach to your belt. Now that we have it attached, I mean, it fits very snug. I mean, and you can adjust this to however you want to. Uh, so very comfortable. It's not something sticking down in your pants. It's just sitting right here, um, especially if you're wearing a jacket or a coat. I mean, it makes it really easy to be able to uh, be comfortable while carrying your firearm. Of course, with it in the vertical position, you know, it's easier to conceal. Uh, when it's coming out straight, which is easier to pull out, you know, you've got that length of your pistol. Uh, with this, you just bring it down, take your index finger, and pop the snap. Then rotate it, and you pull it right out. I mean, that makes it really easy. Then when you want to reholster, just bring it, lock it in, bring it forward, snap it, and you're good to go. Uh, one thing that I'm tempted to do is to pop this snap first. And with that, which you can do it, and then bring your pistol down and pull it out. Uh, but with this way it's just one handed and you can kind of keep your support hand out of the way in fact when i first tried it at the range i was reaching over popping it pulling it down and obviously you can do it that way but i think that the index finger method is such a better way to go and it gives you that one hands free but i'll tell you what guys this is a beautiful rig and you've got your extra magazines right here. It counterbalances the weight. Now guys, I like to do range demonstrations with the holsters, uh, but the, I was pulling it out this way and I really wanted to show how bringing this with that finger, getting a full grip on your pistol, bringing it down, and then you're ready to fire. This is cool. <laughs> it allows you to really carry a full size 1911 without a lot of trouble and whatever firearm you decide on. But you can carry a full-size gun just like this, and it's really difficult to do, unless you're a really big guy, just on your hip. And they also have their premium holster care kit. And this is something that I use on my leather holsters. Uh, this one, uh, in fact, this is a well-used kit in here. Uh, they have all the conditioning, able to maintain your holster. In fact, when I did my review, I demonstrated how to use it. But one thing that you do with leather is I take my gun, I put it in a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, wrap it up, and then insert it. And I leave it overnight, and actually for a couple of days sometimes, and it just seems to mold into the holster, but it makes it much easier to draw and withdraw. This Roto design is really cool. Again, you can carry it vertically, and then you draw horizontally. I mean, the best of both worlds. And again, you can get this for a number of different handguns, left or right carry, black or mahogany. I mean, they give you a lot of choices. And for more information, you can go to craftholsters.com. So guys, hope you enjoyed this segment of the holiday gift guide from getzone.com. Uh, we also have the long gun edition and also the handgun edition coming right up. And we really appreciate Black Hawk Holsters for being the presenting sponsor, uh, guys, if you are looking for a very comfortable way to carry and yet very secure, 
uh, check out the Tech Grip Form Lock Inside the Waistband Holster from Blackhawk. These are excellent and this is going to be part of my concealed carry rotation. And also check out GetZone.com. It is the biggest Second Amendment friendly video platform out there. And we really appreciate GetZone for putting all this together. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic, and Merry Christmas. And we really appreciate, we appreciate, and of course your firearm is right here, uh, and it attaches to your... This is just something that really tripped my trigger. <sighs> the, the dividers. There is a lot of room in this ba okay, bag. I keep saying bag. And one thing you'll notice is this little safety strap right here. So as you're wearing it, you take your index finger, pop it down. Well, type design for a shoulder system. Oops. Oops. <laughs>